Hi guys, you are watching Forutech and today we are going for installation and review of Android P Developer Preview 3 for OnePlus 6 which is the almost stable build as a daily driver for OnePlus 6. So let's get started for the review and installation. Download the developer preview 3 build, put it in the root of your SD card, then go to the settings, then go to system updates, then click the right gear icon, select your DP3 package, click install, after the installation, click the reboot button, then your phone will boot into the Android P, there is no need to wipe anything. When you go into the settings, about phone, you will see the Oxygen OS version as 5.1.0 but your android version is as 9 with the latest security patch for the 5th july 2018 this is almost a stable build with the working wi-fi olt for the geo sims in india working hotspot the working nfc bluetooth is also working good the getcher controls are also working like the oxygen os builds the alert slider is working perfectly the fingerprint sensor is also working with some minor bugs the face unlock is also working good you can unlock your phone with the face unlock your dash charge is also working and so that this build is the almost stable build there are no bugs i am using this build from last two days and i will use this build till the new android is stable build come out because I am liking this build very much. So what's new in this build? In this build you get the overall new look for your settings. In the settings you get the different style of icons which looks very nice. Then in the kick setting panels you get the round type of quick setting icons. See this, these are the some round old type of new icons for your quick setting. In the shelf of the Oxygen OS launcher you will get now the card style. This is the card style of shelf for this new ROM. Then uh, for the volume rocker you get the media control. New vertical style of volume uh, rocker menu is now available. You get the new uh, power menu with the screenshot option. See so this, this is the media control option for the volume panel. You also get the new style of notifications in this Android P developer preview where the notification panel is now the rounded shape. You also get the new style of recent menu where you get the lock full screen, split screen and the app info tab in your recent menu. In this build there are new styles of transition anim animations for the opening of apps. See this, these are the new style of app opening animations. Then you will get the new in and out type of animations in the settings and the overall look of this ROM. The performance of this ROM is very good. There is no lag. The performance is very fast, fluid. Overall performance is very fast. Antutu score for this ROM is 284K. So this ROM is really very fast and the fluid in the performance section in case of camera the camera is similar to the oxygen os camera you will get the all the features like in stock camera portrait mode slow motion pro mode time lapse google lens panorama all the things are working perfectly in this camera app google lens is also working see this uh, it's detecting the objects flawlessly just you need the latest google app for the working google lens inbuilt into the camera application the sample of the camera are also looking very sharp there is no deterioration in the quality of the photos they looks very sharper and very good the portrait modes are also looking very good i will show you one sample see this this is the portrait mode sample and it looks very nice uh, and it's clear taking clear photos so the camera is very good in this rom we also get the smile capture option in the settings 
there are very few bugs in this rom the one bug is that in the recent menu whenever you close any application the clear all button will get vanished automatically to access that clear all button you have to open the recent menu again the next bug is that after the installation of rom the phone app will force close to avoid that you have to go to the app option in the settings there you have to clear the storage the app data you have to clear the another bug is in fingerprint setting whenever you set any fingerprint and delete that you can't able to add any fingerprint battery life of this rom is very good in the advanced optimization you get the sleep standby optimization option which helps us to increase the battery life i am getting the whole day of battery with the 5 to 6 hours of sot with the average use so go ahead and flash this rom it's a stable rom thanks for watching like this video subscribe